I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about MS button control in ASP.NET. So about the MS button control, so it is used to display an image and respond to mouse click on the image. So let's understand by example. So inside form section, I am going to write add here h4 tag. So add here in h4 tag, going to write MS button. Control example. So this will display into the browser. Now here after so add here click going to write to click any where in MS. Now here after going to your going to use PR section. So add your section after printing this. So control I wanna or uh, control comes to on uh, a new line so that we are using add here PR tag. Now here after the next is let's use add here ASP. And here you can find different controls. So this is the example about MS button control. Now here after let's go. Uh, first thing about the MS button so we need to set the ID so ID should be meaningful so add here writing MS button 1 so this is the ID so this should be run on the browser server so we need to add run it server add here now here after we have to set the alignment of the image so image alignment now here you can find bottom left middle so add here left i think that's be good now here after the next is ms url so image url and here so here or uh, here in first there is a one folder picture so going, you should take any kind of picture like YouTube, Google, and here this. So add here, I'm going to take the picture A1. Okay. So image here, URL. So first, you should write add here interval code picture. And here after the next is going to select A1 and here press JPG is the extension now here after on click event going to use now here after the next is we need to write at this point image button so add here going to write MC, write a image button definition or oh, i didn't written so add here let's write after that i'm going to write the definition of image button so on click image button underscore click now here after let's close that here now here after let's use the VR section so add here VR section now here after we need to take one level control so add here directly go to the designer okay designer part so this is add here image now here i need one level control let's track there so there is a one level control that is added level one selector now here after i'm going to do one thing so add here going to make text property blank and here after add is the level one now here after so uh, this is about x and y coordinate now let's go to the source part source part now here so where i did let's cancel that now here designer part so this is the label now here go to the source okay label it's the comes to this position so this is the not right position right here i'm gonna print the label after or printing to new lines 
So at this point, now he didn't change the label. So it's the label font. From here, it comes to this position. Now here, after the next thing is, so let's go to the source and here, or uh, inside head section, going to write a script tag. So add here, we need to write a script. So add here, a script set the language. So language add here, going to use CSR. Now here after the next is or uh, here. So it should be run on the server browser. So set add here, run it server. Now close that. Now inside the script section, we need to write list of the codes. So add here. So add here inside the script section. So first I'm going to take white and here image. So image here after button. So whatever the contents add there, so we need to paste. So this on click, so it should be similar. Now here after let's paste that image button click. Now here after let's use add here object and here center and here after image click event ARGS that it can image click event ARGS that it can. So add here it provides data for an any event that occur when user click on the image. So this is the use of image click event. So here, so whenever user or uh, click on the image, so then for this event that comes. Now here after the next is so the next part at here. Let's use level control. Now here after press dot. So add here going to write uh, text. So text add here. Let's add here going to write x and y coordinates. So x and y coordinates. Now here after colon and here a bracket and here close that. And here plus operator to concatenate and here so let's use e so e is the uh, object of image class event args now here so if you press add here dot so here you can find x and y so i'm going to use add here x to calculate x coordinate now here press dot so x is add here in x add here so add here x is the integer tab. So by using two strings, so a string to integer. Convert the numeric value to a string. So by using two strings, so convert. So x is the add here numeric value. And by using two strings, so it convert into a string. So let's use add here. Now here after the next is so let's use plus and here double quote here column comma. Now here after plus and here e. Here dot now next is y coordinate so add here let's use two string now here after a uh, double curve bracket and here after so we need to give next curly process now here after close by semicolon now that's it about this code so by using this we can uh, also check x and y coordinate by using email button. So my intention to write this code at here. So the definition of email button. So it is used to display an image. So first it is used to display image and here whenever I click there in inside email. So by clicking so their event should be generated and here according to event to generate there's some calculation likes. This should be displayed x and y coordinate. So let's execute and check the output. So add here it's currently running. So 
So see at the image pattern control example and here click anywhere. So I didn't click. If I click at this point, so see at here there is event generated. Now here it's calculating x and y coordinate. The value is 6155. Suppose if I click this position, x and y coordinate value get changed. Now like this, if I click at here, so here, so whenever I need to click operation on uh, image, so there is the so event generated and x and y value it's display. So let's understand the code at here. Now hereafter I'm going to execute once again. So let's minimize that. So add here the first part at this point. So add here first is S4 tag is using. So by using S4 tag, so image button control it's a display. Now here click anywhere in the image. So it's a display. Click anywhere. After that BR tag using. Now uh, it leaves blank space. Now here after the next is image button. So this is the image button and here image ID. So run server, so it's so run on the server browser, image alignment. So we can set at your left, right, or uh, anything. Now here image here. So you can select the image here or uh, in the picture folder and this is the name of the picture. So on click, so whenever user click at here, so there uh, one event going to generate an image button click. Now here after control comes to this point, image button click. Now here image button click so here after that go inside so this or uh, display add here so suppose if i click add here so image button click that even fired now here x and y coordinates and here this is the bracket so x and y coordinates so x coordinate i click on 117 and y coordinates i click on 56 and here this is the comma between two and here after after that part has been done so it's all from this at an image underscore click event. So this is the simplest example of image button control in ASP.NET. So I hope guys uh, you understand. So one more thing at here you can check image alignment left right anything and here you can check at here h1 s2 s3 s4 and here after the next uh, thing is so here after uh, next thing is uh, okay one more thing okay here after if you want then here you can change the label color and so in my previous video I discussed how to change the label uh, printing color in my previous video so I hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you.